Hello everyone. Uh, this is about uh, first clinical pathology case which I wanted to discuss with you all, which was 30 year old smoker with difficulty in swallowing and clinical gross and microscopic findings. So you can see clinical. This is the gross finding. This is the microscopic finding is given. So I had asked these two questions at my Instagram, right? And I had promised you that it will be available at YouTube. So now I'm discussing with that thing. Right. So question number one was what are the findings you are seeing here? So what are the findings you are seeing here? And what is the most common paraneoplastic syndrome associated with this cancer? Right. So this is a cancer. And what will be the most common paraneoplastic syndrome? So let us see one by one about all these things. Right. So first clinical finding, if you see, this is yellowish area, which is actually excessive amount of keratin deposition. Right. <coughs> excessive amount of keratin deposition is called as hyperkeratosis. And where we are seeing them in the palms also and in the soles also. So palm and soles are showing you hyperkeratosis and this is called as stylosis, stylosis palmaris, stylosis plantaris, right? So these are the important point about tylosis. Whenever you see tylosis, what is the clinical significance? You will think about risk of which cancer? Esophagus, which is esophageal cancer? Esophageal squamous cell carcinoma, right? So in clinical appearance, what we are observing? Yellowish keratin, which is the hyperkeratosis, both palm and sole. Then what we have done, because this patient was having a difficulty in swallowing and there was a mass, so that when we are seeing the gross specimen, when we are seeing the cut section of the esophagus, see, this is the normal mucosa. This is the normal mucosa, but here, yellowish area you can see this is the area which is the ulceration right so it is ulceration and around the ulceration you can see there is a protruding normal mucosal cells these are not normal mucosal cells these are protrusions because of the tumor cells are infiltrating below them so these are proliferating because tumor cells are infiltrating they are proliferating and they are giving them polypoidal appearance so we will say that this ulceration is with proliferating polypoidal tissue and that is what we are going to describe or we are going to understand uh, this is a cancer. This can be adenocarcinoma also. This can be squamous also. So now what we will do, we will see this polypoidal lesion biopsy. In the biopsy, you can see numerous epithelial cells. These are epithelial cells and you can see these are the stromal tissue, the eosinophilic stromal tissue and entire stromal tissue is infiltrated by the tumor cells which are hyperchromatic and in that hyperchromatic tumor cells you can see tumor cells are having concentric concentric you can see here i have written you shown you hyper eosinophilic concentric rings these are called as keratin pearls or epithelial pearls keratin pearls are epithelial pearls are the findings of the well differentiated squamous cell carcinoma so as we can see keratin pearls are present here keratin pearls are present here so here also you can see one keratin pearl here also you can see one keratin pearl so because of that we are going to say this is a squamous cell carcinoma of the esophagus right so now i understood tylosis we have seen then we saw the ulcerated uh, polypoidal mass then keratin pearl and what will be the most common paraneoplastic syndrome associated with esophageal squamous cell carcinoma so that will be hypercalcemia right so these were the clinical pathological case number one so stay tuned i am going to discuss many more clinical pathological cases which will be helpful for INICT, NEET PG, FMG, US Assembly and those who are doing their clinical practice and those who are doing MD also, uh, MD pathology or MD any other subject that will be correlating to their clinical scenario. So subscribe this YouTube channel and keep following this. And if you want to post some comment about this or you want some more clinical cases or some interesting cases you want from my side, you please post in this comment box. Thank you and best wishes for your experience.